Well, they say that blood is thicker than port. <laughs> now, we don't actually have actual port here Not today. actual port. But what we do have is something from Port Brewing. We do. Very we do. nice. That's what we okay. have on this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beer and the beverage. And the beverage we are about today is from Port Brewing. It's their anniversary ale. Um, as uh, regular listeners of our podcast know, we have experimented, we've dabbled with a variety of Port Brewing uh, offerings, mostly with success, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I would say so. We could say that now. Yeah, I think the, I think the only one that really has been the biggest letdown has been the, the uh, Midnight, Midnight Expressions. Expressions. Yes. Yeah. When I tell all the world I don't like you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's the only one we yeah. didn't like. That's At really least I didn't. You weren't a huge fan of the... The old, vis- the old viscosity, I thought it was okay. I just didn't think it was as good as, as you did. Yes, I've bought and, a but other, but it them. wasn't. But it wasn't bad. And then yeah. I've, the Mongo IPA is very good. Um, what else have we had? We've had some other things from them lately. Oh, they're uh, the, the one fresh they do, hop. The fresh hop IPA. Yeah. If you can find that when they do that every year, it's whenever the hop harvest is. They get them, you know, obviously fresh, and that they get good. them in there. Delicious. That was Love that tasty. one. I can't yeah. recommend that one enough. So We're on the lookout for older viscosity, which I have seen but yeah. was unable to procure just due to <laughs> You'd already made uh, many other budgetary. considerations. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Weight and budgetary That was when you were in San Francisco, yeah. right? Yes, it was. Yeah. It was one of those. I was like, oh. No, I have to stay focused. <laughs> I have to stay focused. I'm looking for Russian River. You were staying focused on I Russian River. Stay, yeah. But and well, and speaking of focus, that was where I, I got this uh, when this is also another one that was when I was in La Jolla on the on the uh, on the uh, sweaty walking travel. This was oh, this one. was in there. This, this is, is the one. one that those guys gave you. Yeah, yeah, this is the extra bottle that they gave me. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to know what we're talking about, go back to about two weeks ago when we had Wives Week. There and was some, uh, was some hilarity in the second in those one. Podcasts. Yeah, that was Rachel. Uh, yeah, that's the, right. The Rachel podcast. That was <laughs> that's right. That was, yeah. I listened to that. I was like, that was a that was a funny story. That was very funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, I'm always like I said on the lookout for anniversary things because usually that's kind of when breweries do some neat experimental stuff because they know they're only making one batch of it. They right. can usually unload enough of it, and uh, they can be very exciting. They're showing and off, and they're that's what. To, at least. Yeah, and that's yeah. what this is. This is their anniversary ale. It was released during the summer. You might still be able to find this depending on where you're at. I, I'm not sure, so I apologize if it's already uh, gone. But uh, yeah, it's uh, they were actually calling it a pale ale, did they? You, well, you said an extremely extremely hopped, pale, hopped pale, pale ale, ale, so that would be an IPA. <laughs> anyway, I don't, I don't know. I don't could, know. Uh, well, it could be maybe just because it's not super bitter. Maybe there, maybe this is gonna be a lot of really forward floor. Like I don't know. We yeah, who knows? Yet, we're, so we're, yeah. we're speculating. But you've had this for a little while. I have, but I've it's been this. refrigerated. Oh, yes, this was well, but now this was bottled on five sixteen. Okay, so that's only uh, yeah. I got it in mid, you know early July, a little over three months ago. Yeah, okay. and I got it in early July. So yeah, definitely not uh, too long ago. Right around seven ninety nine when I got it, eight ninety nine tops. It was not you know overly expensive for an anniversary beer and. Uh, I believe ten percent. Yes, alcohol. Yeah. yeah so yeah, usually that actually that is one of the things I like about port is their beers are very uh, monetarily accessible. Translation: They usually you know are, are, they're priced well. I think. Yeah, priced well, and then the good flavor and quality to go along right. with it. Right. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah, completely. The only one I saw that was the the older viscosity, as we talked about before. That one I think was six or eight bucks. At sixteen in in uh, at the Whole Foods in California. Right. So you know, as soon as you start to get to barrel aging, anytime something has to sit. Yeah, that's right. I hate we to know keep what bringing happens. up sour beers, but. That oh. all fits into those categories that starts getting more expensive. I'm always happy to bring up sour beers. <laughs> well, not in the wrong way, though. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a bad way. There if you drink too many of them, then, then you're you bringing bring up, up sour beer. In a bad way. That is a waste of money. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Your God, stop. <laughs> it's like shining and golden and... It's lighting up the room. It is very golden. That's nice. With ample head. Wow. I know. I didn't think I... I guess I poured a little it's, bit vigorously. Yeah, it's but going down, though. That's just it's going, going down quickly enough. Kind of going back, actually, to the, the theme from our last beer. This one's definitely lighter. But it's kind of a little orange-yellow wheat beer kind of yeah. looking. It's yeah, cloudy. That, that cl- actually, yeah. ha- I actually have some sediment in mine, which I, I poured mine toward the end, so you may not have. I don't know if I have. As you can see, if you take a peek at, oh, you yeah, can see some stuff. Yeah, you see a couple so things you not have. Now I don't okay, see it. Okay, so I poured a little now. bit. I don't think That's this right. was this mentioned anything about bottle conditioning or anything of that nature. No. No. So, yeah. 
Yeah, my my head's not going away, so we'll try and <laughs> see if we can get any aromas out of there. there. Well, it didn't take much to get an aroma out of that. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely some hops in there. That's, uh, there's, there's almost, it's weird, and it's probably isn't going to sound appealing unless you actually have, it's almost a cheesy quality. I get something like a, like a, ch- a, a very, very mild, but there's something at the end of the, at the hmm. end of the uh, sniff that's cheese like. No, I, I, you know what? I think I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, like a heavier, like a, what kind of cheese? Like a, like brie rind or something, or yeah, or, there's or a little bit more. Uh, you know, almost not quite blue. It's not blue cheesy. But yeah, it's not quite that funky. No, it's not. But like there's a little like bit of something in there yeah. rolled into there. But that's. I need some cheese. That'd be good. Actually, that, that doesn't good right now. You know, I should have broke out some crackers. Sounds good. I'll have that. Yeah. The aromas is definitely the more sagey herbal kind yes. of stuff. Yeah, a little bit of fruit maybe on the back end, but not much. Little piney is in there. There's well, definitely some, some of that. It's almost a mild, and not like the like the um, wild beers, but there's almost a mild, a little bit of a little funk. Yeah, that's kind of actually a, a, a when you were mentioning hint. cheese. That's kind of yeah. what was bringing to mind. Maybe is that little what, bit of yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. definitely not like that Brettanomyces, which. Unfortunately, one of our guests apparently liked that, <laughs> which <laughs> strange. The supplier of that beer to us actually liked it. I know. It. What yeah. is up with that? I found it refreshing and good for a summer day. He actually said refreshing and he good for a summer day. Yeah, we have to double check on that. Yeah, maybe he got a better bottle than we did. <laughs> maybe he did. Maybe we got a little extra funk. A little Could extra be. George Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> I re- the aroma on that's great. That's f- that's fantastic. That's that's what I was hoping it's for nice. when it's yeah. talking. You know, you re- sometimes that's one of the things, too, that's unfortunate and if you've ever had to, you know, write or work on a website or write things where you're, you know, you over exaggerate a little bit, you know, that's what can be frustrating. You read this, oh my gosh, it says notes of this and all these, and then you smell like I don't get any of it's that. Or there. And, and the biggest, I, I think, actually one of the worst uh, is when you get beers that mention the word chocolate in them. Yeah, there is no more frustrating thing when something is called chocolate and there is no chocolate. <laughs> that is, I mean, like come on, you say yeah. chocolate, and you know, that's a pretty it should be a pretty easy one to. Fine. That should be. Yeah. It should definitely be. But yeah, no, this smells great. It's coming through. And actually, yeah. Uh, I think I met, maybe actually can get some beer from underneath yeah. the head. Speaking of coming through. Wow. And that's actually, but that's still pretty thick. Though. Yeah. That looks like you had some ice cream in something. That's like that. kind of a little root beer. Bit. Root beer yeah, float. a little, little beer float going there. But it's funny, as much as head as there is, not it's not really, it's not, there's no, uh, none of the lacing. Not a ton. No. Just a very little bit that slides right back down pretty quickly. Yeah, there, there's some right there. But there wasn't when it was up higher. The alcohol flourish is there for me. And that's what I was saying with that beer that I had the other night on tap, that, that little sample I had. It has that. Which one was that? Alcohol Do you remember the flourish. name of that on it? It, no. was, um, it was from Bisbee. It was, alcohol it was called Alcohol Flourish? It was called Alcohol Flourish. That's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely one of the more bitter beers i've had in quite some time like where that the malt is really at the borderline of balancing that out yeah it's, it's not overwhelming but it's pretty strong i mean i'm enjoying it let's just get that out of the way before we get on i i like this i think this is pretty tasty this i wish i had a couple more of <laughs> <laughs> Our discussion in the last yeah uh, yeah if shot. You, if, yeah if you watch the last podcast yeah. uh yeah definitely i wish i had a little more of this one um but yeah like it's pretty strong bitter at the back yeah, definitely. And it and it I know sometimes we'll say when that isn't attached to something, sometimes that can be frustrating, but it's not necessarily with this one cuz to me it's not it's not like oh, I'm getting a, a fruity bitter or I'm getting a savory bitter or I'm get it's just kind of bitter. Yeah, there's a strong bitter and then I think yeah, I think but then what is nice and I agree, I think there's a little bit of the alcohol kind of comes up at the end right after that bitter and raises up some of those herbal floral things to the back which gives that yeah some, some resonance that gives it a little more something that doesn't just clamp down yeah but it's definitely still there like actually my mouth is watering a little bit too it is which is good because the last few things we've had have been kind of dry <laughs> yeah that's true so that's good so. yeah actually there is a little sal- that salty savory kind of comes through yeah but that's i mean that's very tasty Port Brewing, Port this brewing. one's delicious. It's if you good. can still find some, even though it's late in the summer, almost getting into the fall now. I mean, you can tell it's fall because Sam Adams has put out their Oktoberfest <laughs> three months ago. And, 
<laughs> they're not the only ones. So. No. And I like their Oktoberfest, but it's yeah. always like, you know, we always talk about how seasonally we drink. It's yeah. always weird. And I know it's Tucson, so it's even a little bit stranger, yeah, but still, harder. I mean, the, I mean, that was August. Yeah. <laughs> August, a 12 pack of Sam Adams found Oktoberfest yep. found their way. It hasn't stopped you from drinking it though. Has it? it didn't. No, no. I, <laughs> no, I finished it. No, they're, they're fine. That's, I, I like that. I actually think yeah. that's one of their. They're better ones. And I I think the only thing with Sam Adams, and this will be quick, is just that they kind of do the, like, whatever style they're doing, they just never, like, overreach and try something, like, really innovative. You're always going to get, like, the just kind of beginnings of that style because they're going to try and keep it contemporary enough for everyone to enjoy. Oh, and, they and have. That's, and that's definitely fine, like I said, I don't, but I don't think I've ever, I've never had one where I was like, other than... With a six-pack line, but, like, with that bomber line, some of, they were pushing some boundaries with some of that, like that... The, the the blonde barley wine we had that was that's definitely was different i mean it was different but it wasn't like yeah i guess it wasn't but it wasn't like gangbusters strange no you know especially for a, a you know if you want to talk about like things that you get in a pot i mean like this is not strange but this is definitely like oh this is bitter and it's like yeah. you know they really went to i mean sam adams would never hit no probably even not. two-thirds of what this is yeah, but that's, that's like i said but they make some other good stuff and those are those are good beginnings into other things like this. That's right. And if you're looking for other things to drink, you should head on over to the uh, website. And beginnings. No, I don't know what that means. What? Go ahead. New beginnings. <laughs> At aboutbeverages.com. And uh, definitely check out the tasting notes for this uh, anniversary ale from Port Brewing. And uh, see where it hits on our recommendation scale. But uh, you can tell we like it quite a bit. So I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure it'll do well. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>